Hello friends, welcome once again to our third video. Uh, in this video, we continue from where we left off from our uh, previous video on converting uh, PSD file into a Flutter UI design. So if you have not uh, yet subscribed to my channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe, click on the click the button in the corner and then uh, you will be able to receive all my updates uh, on every video that I post. Okay, now we have finished our header, uh, which is this one. So when you scroll, see, it scrolls. So we are going to now uh, our next step will be creating this list item that we have here and this item we have the thumbnail uh, that is our first item and then we have each list is divided into two, the, two, the thumbnail and uh, the content the items content so let's go ahead and uh, create this go back so here we'll create a widget which will hold that so we'll create uh, our custom widget which will go create first create a package called widgets so inside widgets we'll create our our custom widget list item Good, so inside here we have a class uh, custom list item. Uh, this class will extend stateless.
Okay, now we have finally finished our custom widget. So we are going to go ahead and uh, implement it in our page. So we'll import our widget here. Package, then widgets. Good, so after importing that, let's create our custom list here. So widget. Custom list items. So for us to have uh, uh, this uh, thumbnail, we we'll need to use another widget inside here, uh, which will be Clipper. Clipper Rec. So let's go back and get our image, this image. So when we go back to our design, let's first collapse the header and go to our first item, which is that one. Go to this folder. We have this image there, that one. Or even we can, we can take this one here. You can take that image. So I will remove the style on this one. Then we just remove the uh, the mask, the clipping mask. Then uh, export our assets. After pasting, we go into our pub.yaml and asset. Yeah, but still, we need to also add uh a layer here on this one so what we'll do is we'll copy the the entire we'll copy this decoration Create new uh, new container. And then this will be stuck. Then we'll pass in the children. We'll place that there. 
then here we'll create another container I think we'll just go back and copy what we had done here because the same coloring this one copy this one come and paste it there save okay okay now after defining our image so uh, where do we start from? Uh, so our thumbnail stops where? Stops here. So here we can add in title and, uh, and paste in that title. Then we can add subtitle and uh, we can get our title in subtitle which is this one uh, this is our list item we go to text and uh, copy this copy that text come to our application paste it there good uh, then that uh, we can create 20 2020 uh, 06 06 06 good 2020 so this is our first list so we can just come here where we have our body uh, and just call this uh, remove that and just say call our list there save and then let's see what we have good we have our item right there you see when you scroll our item we have everything set but then we need to add some thickness on our uh, so i think what we gonna do and go back to our custom list and then where we have our is much better and uh, let's push this uh, like five maybe yeah that's something like it title we should can go ahead and add another item go back to our photoshop so we have this image there
click get every time you put an asset you have to sync it so that it is available so copy the uh, image url let's come here and then paste it there save and then let's check our application once again we have our application uh, our uh, item right there so since this one is too much i think uh, i did a mistake in exporting did i Uh, our image contains uh, effects on it, so we need to re import that image again. Uh, yeah. So we need to remove these effects, then we import it again. Sorry for that. this so let's refresh our application so we we need to uh, put some uh, padding here so let's go to our custom list and uh, padding then we have Good, now it has corrected itself, so we have some gapping there. Yeah, so let's get the another picture. Uh, that is list item three. Go back to check. Good, so we have our menu right there. So we have successfully created our list. We can now duplicate it and then have uh, multiple menus. have a title so I'm going to add here a title and also uh, make our over shape okay now uh, we have finished our our list uh, our list items so we are going to work on creating uh, a, a custom uh, clip I remember uh, uh in in flutter flutter introduced new widgets like clipper which we use to uh, clip a rake that rake to, that we use to uh, to round up this uh, widget uh, this image widget to be say that we have uh, rounded corners so we clipped this image using uh, image uh, uh, I mean clip red this one so 
for us to uh, to create an oval shape uh, like what you see here like this one we'll need to uh, create a custom clipper just come down here okay we'll create a class For us now to have this shape here, we are going to use a quadratic baser too to help us uh, create that kind of a shape. So we path. Yeah, so if we navigate our application and see what we have here in the docs. Yeah, so that is what we have. We have successfully created our application. 
so this is what we have done okay in this uh, lesson we have uh, learned how to convert a PSD uh, design into a UI design and uh, we have uh, also uh, learned how to create different shapes uh, in Flutter using different uh, widgets like custom clipper widget and uh, we have also uh, uh, learned how to uh, create a list view items custom uh, custom list view items uh, like what we have here and uh, yeah so in this part we have converted our PSD into our design that we have here so in our next video we'll fetch data from uh, our uh, our API REST API or from internet and then populate our application so see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and like uh, bye bye